Hello, it is Tuesday and I'm pre recording this video on Sunday night uh, because my mum's going away and taking the laptop again. So, um, yes, pre recording this, so fun. So, I'm coming up with the theme this week and I'm emailing you all. And if you don't, if Rachel don't get the email and you start doing a completely d different theme, then that's okay. I'll just have a different theme this week. But my theme this week is going to be your favourite tunes. Not the sweets you get when you have a sore throat, but tunes like songs. Yeah? Okay! Woo! My hair looks so ugly in this video. I think I should wear a hat. But this is a decent hat. Is that better? Now I've just got weird shadow thing under my eyes. <laughs> to show you my favourite tunes, I am going to show you my most played playlist thing on my iPod. So yeah, this, yeah this. Top 25 most played, cools. Pale Town by Paper Plane, which is just this really cool song that I found on MySpace. And I've listened to it a lot, so yeah, it's num my number one was played. Uh, number two is Legal Man by Bill and Sebastian, which is a very cool upbeat song, and Bill and Sebastian are for the win. The Last Thing by the Mitch Hansen Band, which is actually a Twilight band, which is, it's like wizard rock but with twilight form and I quite like that song. I don't like it anymore, but I think when I first got it on my iPod it was one of those songs that I just listened to on repeat. Number four is uh, Last Goodbye by Jeff Buckley. Number five is You Really Got Me by The Kinks. Uh, I've lost count. The next one is Whistle for the Choir by The Fratellis and the next one is Waiting for the Siren's Call by New Order, and then it's Hoppy Pola by Sigur Ross, and then it's Nicest Thing by Kate Nash, and then it's Light and Day slash Reach for the Sun by the Polyphonic Spree, which is, if you live in the UK, that's a song that they have in the Sainsbury's advert. Yeah, I like that song, so, um, yes. Next one is Shine On by Cooks, which is quite a new, new song, but I like that one, and... Another song that I had on repeat quite a lot. Hate to say I told you so by The Hives. Next is Are You Gonna Be My Girl by Jet. And then it's The Boy with the Arab Strap. Another one by Bill and Sebastian. They're like my, one of my favourite bands. Then it's Thorn Tree in the Garden by Derek and the Don Dominoes. Then it's Love Will Tear Us Apart by Joy Division. Then it's Age of Consent by New Order. Lots of Joy Division and New Order. Um, then it's Do It Again by Stroke Nine, which is, an, which is on the Scrubs soundtrack. A lot, see, people always ask me what my music taste is like, and I just say that if, if the song has been used in the Scrubs soundtrack, then I will like it. So yeah, uh, Scrub, I like the Scrubs music, yeah. Okay, next is I'm a Cuckoo by Bill and Sebastian. Uh, then it's In Between Days by The Cure. Then it is... Leave by Glenn Hansard, which is one of the songs of the movie uh, Once, which is this indie Irish movie, which is a very good movie and I liked. Next is Closer by Travis. I've got a lot of Scottish bands on here. Then it's Fix You by Coldplay, Keep the Car Running by Arcade Fire. Then uh, Weather Without You by U2. Then, oh, is that the last one? Oh, that's it. That's my 25 most played songs on my iPod. So, yeah, those are my favourite tunes. Yeah. So, right, Rob's replacement failed last week. Uh, which made Eid sad. Uh, but, yeah. I don't know who it was, so I can't say, oh, yeah, I really missed you because I don't know who the replacement was going to be. So, yeah, um, Rob, come back soon, please. I miss you. Matt, you fail at challenges because you didn't tell me a creative way to use a sock. Your punishment for the next video, because you didn't do my challenge, is to do your video on one foot wearing socks on your hands and your feet for the entire video. Ha, 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 ha. I finished Breaking Dawn today. Oh, like I'm with you Lauren. A lot of people are saying that they hated it but I absolutely loved it so much. 
and um, it made me cry on like I won't spoil it but there was a scene near the end that made me cry it was like it was like single tear but then it was like another single tear so it was like two single tears out of each eye and it was quite sad but I cry very easily at things so yeah I really like Breaking Dawn and I thought it was awesome so yeah I don't have anything interesting apart from my room and the chair with a jacket and stuff I also got a big bag of sweets and I've got like dolly beads and scissors. You know they contain no artificial colours? Oh my gosh, they're like good for you. They're like eating fruit. Okay. How do you even eat these? Oh um they don't taste as good as I remembered. Um I'm really hoping that it's the necklace that's breaking and not my teeth. I don't know what the point of that is, but I just feel like eating. My challenge for this week is to eat something on camera. Like this, I mean, right now. Which doesn't taste very nice. Um, yeah. So it's quite an easy challenge. It's quite a fun one, I think. If you get something weird to eat like a candy necklace so yeah so we've covered the ipod we've covered twilight and we've covered the necklace we're good this video's done bye <laughs>